Hey guys, it's Miss Cranford. Um, you are getting ready to start on your new project, which is going to be um, Cherokee basket weaving. And so, keep in mind the basket we're making is not going to be super curved up. It's just going to be kind of more like a bowl, like a bowl that might sit on um, your table that ha has like decorative fruit or maybe real fruit. Okay, that's kind of the basket that we're making. So, a few things to keep in mind. Um, the weaving part of this project is really the big part of the project um, and when you do any sort of weaving you want to make sure that you keep it tight and that your pieces of yarn are close together so I really want you to pay attention to that when we get to that step in the project so I'm going to turn the elbow around and on the first day you are going to be given a paper plate like this now you may be tempted to start in the middle maybe you're not um, but I will tell you one really good way to make sure that everything li is lined up is to start from the outside. And so this um, circle here, you know that this circle is perfect because it came from the store like this. And so what I want you to do is using just some crayon is to just outline it like I'm doing. So you're going to outline it and then what you're going to do is you're going to just proceed to make all sorts of decorations on the inside and what you're doing is you're slowly making your way to the middle because if you start in the middle it's going to be sort of lopsided and so you're just making all sorts of things zigzag lines polka dots um think about any design remember designs are not things like houses trees people words numbers letters they are lines shapes and colors and so you can do something like this and eventually when you get to the middle I would like you to maybe do a like a swirl or a flower are two really good options so you're going to continue decorating that and then eventually it's going to look something like this and so really the parts that are really important for us to make look really pretty are this inside part and then this outside part because most likely those parts are going to be showing okay and so you're going to have it all decorated like that and then you are going to watercolor over top of it and when you watercolor over this plate first of all um you don't want it to be like so wet that it's soppy and it's like there's tons of puddles on it okay you want to smooth out your watercolor you're we're using one one color over the whole paper plate the whole thing okay and it's going to resist the crayon so don't worry about uh going over the crayon so you're going to have that all painted, pretend it's like that in your mind, and then you are going to flip it over. Normally, I suggest for students to wait three to four minutes, and it's normally dry enough that you can go ahead and put your template on it, okay? And this is what you're going to use to be able to uh, make your weaving. And so you're going to put your template on it. A few really important things about this are to keep it straight. And when you start it, you need to finish this thing. See, this is not something you need to finish when the teacher's like, okay, you've got two more minutes to finish. No, you don't need to finish it then, okay? You need, or you don't need to start it then. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take and draw where these little lines are. You can see how these are little flaps that I've cut. And you're going to draw them out just like this. Okay, and you're going to do that all the way around. You don't want to move this stencil I repeat don't move the stencil because it's really hard to line up so you're going to get all of your lines drawn and then you are going to cut them and I'm just going to show you very quickly just with these few um you do want to try to stay on the line and every once in a while I get boys and girls that just kind of want to stop okay you need to go all the way until where the line stops that will affect your weaving here in just a few minutes and so you're gonna just cut them like this. Now, let me just give you a little hint here. When you go to cut it, okay? Remember, we watercolored on our paper plate. When you go to cut it, if it looks like your paper plate is being torn instead of cut with your scissors, then it's too wet, you need to stop, and then probably you need to wait until the next class period to cut the lines, okay? So if it looks like it's torn, stop because your plate is too wet okay so once you have it all cut it's going to look sort of like this and then you're going to start with your yarn now um i'm just starting with like a plain color but y'all have some really pretty colors that you're going to get to use 
And so your um, interim sub is going to show you how to get two arm's lengths of yarn. And remember, an arm's length, I'll show you really fast, is from one set of fingertips, okay, all the way to the other. Do you see how my arms are stretched out? I don't have it like this. Sometimes I have boys and girls that are like, that are like this. No, stretch it all the way out. Okay, that's one arm's length. And then you're going to do another arm's length. Okay, so once you have your two arm's lengths, this is how we are going to start. So let me move you back over. Okay, so here is the end of my yarn right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to lift up one tab. You're going to slide it under so that it's fairly tight. And then you are going to, you're going to make an X. Hope you can see that, how that looks like an X. You're going to take this little end, put it through the loop, through, put it through the hole, and then you're going to pull it tight. And then really we need to do that again. So we're going to make another X like that, and then put this piece underneath through that little loop. Okay, and then that's about it. So now we're going to flip my paper plate over, pretend like this has been watercolored. Um, so we're going to go our over under now. So if you look at this, this piece of yarn is on top. This is over. So our next is going to be under. Okay. And the best way to do this is you want to try to pull it a little bit. Now if you pull it too much, you're going to tear the paper plate. So don't pull it too much. And then we're going to keep going. We're going to go over and under. Over and under. Now I'm going to go really quick here so that I can show you the next thing that I want to talk about. But remember, when we're weaving, you want to keep your yarn tight. Okay, think about your shirt. Okay, if your shirt was not woven tightly and it was really loose, you would have holes in it. It would be coming apart. Okay, so we don't want it coming apart. Now, because there's an odd number of tabs, when you get right here, watch, this is going to switch. So now, this is going to be in the front. We're still doing our over under. Okay. We're still doing our over under, but what's going to happen is that the tabs that we went under just a second ago, now we're going over, okay? And that's the way it's supposed to be. I know that sometimes is a little bit different than maybe some um, weaving that we've done before, but if you have yarn that's on the same tabs as you go around, that is a problem. You have made a mistake. And what's going to happen eventually is your bowl is going to do like this. Like you're going to have some tabs that are going way up and some that are going way back. So, that is something that you want to correct early, early on. 